the climate is changing faster than we normally or traditionally have done science. And so that makes getting this information out there and, and making this information so that we can interpret it and understand it and apply it happen faster, even more important. And so we think about the global impacts of permafrost thaw, this sort of carbon emissions that are coming out. One of the things that we're working on is using artificial intelligence and using satellite data to be able to map these changes Changes, these big ground collapses, which, you know, it's 100 meters, say, on either side, which sounds pretty big, but when you think of the scale of the Arctic, it's like needle in the haystack. And so being able to track these, to map these for the first time and understand the carbon consequences is a really big part of the work that we're doing in trying to make this happen faster than um, it has been happening. And then I think the other part, if we go from, you know, that's the Pan-Arctic scale, if we think about at a much more um, local spatial scale is using satellite imagery and really high resolution satellite imagery is to kind of do this same thing, look at where is the ground collapsing because of permafrost thaw, and we need to do this at a scale of like a home, of, of a runway, or, you know, of a community. And so getting this information out there um, and making it accessible to folks who are, who are making the decision so that we have uh, much more just and equitable decision-making around climate change.